and welcome to Just One More Watch. The unofficial motto here at Jomla is, you don't have to spend a fortune if you don't want to, to get a great watch on your wrist. I tried getting on a t-shirt, but just too many words. Today's video, once again, proves that to be true. You don't have to spend five grand on the latest Omega that the Swatch Group have undoubtedly spent millions getting Daniel Craig to promote through the Bond franchise. You can get a genuine icon, a star of the big and small screen on your wrist for less than 20 US dollars. No prizes for guessing what it is today, it's this, the Casio CA53W calculator watch. As worn by Marty McFly in Back to the Future, and more recently by Walter White in the Breaking Bad television series. Now my love for Casios is well known by now. When I was a kid growing up in Scotland in the 1980s, I lusted after the Casio calculator watch. All the cool kids in my class had them, or at least all the geeky kids in my class had them, of which I was one. Didn't happen for me at the time, so I've made up for it now. I've got several of them in my collection. Now, these are arguably the original smartwatches, or at least they were in the 1980s. Quite how smart they are now, though, in today's market remains to be seen. Let's flip the camera and have a look at this one. And there it is, the $20 movie star. You can pick these up all day long on Amazon.com for under $20. You will, of course, find a link in the description of the video below to this and a whole bunch of other Casios that I've reviewed on the channel. I just love the things. So what do you get for your $20 then? Well, I think you get a bit of a statement piece. Not too many $20 watches you can say that about. I am going to do the full review today, dimensions and specifications. I'll take this one outside, get some wrist shots, and I'm going to run you through its features and its functions. But let's be honest, you're not really buying this one to do sums on, are you? You're buying it first and foremost, I think, for fun. As a bit of a statement, either that you're a geek and you're proud of it, that you're a big fan of the 80s and 80s pop culture, or you're buying it to stick two fingers up at your Apple Watch owning mates. Whatever reason, $20 is not an awful lot for a watch that's been in continuous production since the early 1980s. I don't think they've changed the design at all. Now the film came out in 85, so this one is either an 84 or an 85 model. The only difference used to say made in Japan on the back, Nowadays it says made in China because the whole world is made in China. So let's start off with some dimensions, shall we? So we have a diameter of 34 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip today of 43 millimeters, 0.8 mil thick at its thinnest, a little bit higher with those rubber pushers. Remind me of the old ZX Spectrum 48 rubber key computers from the early 80s. Another little retro reference there for you. 20 millimeter lug width. Now that is slightly unusual. Most Casios have 18 mil lug width. And on the supplied resin strap, this one weighs in at 25 grams. I think this is actually the lightest watch that I've reviewed on the channel. Now, I picked this one up just before Christmas last year, so I've had it for about six months, and I must admit when I took it out of the box initially, I was a little worried about its diminutive dimensions. I've been a long-term fanboy of the slightly bigger and more modern looking DBC32, and I was a little bit worried that the 53 was just gonna be too small on wrist, but it actually wears very nicely, as I'll show you shortly. So the watch is pretty much made of resin and plastic. The case, the head of the watch is made of resin, as is the strap. Strap's actually not too bad. It's quite light, it's quite comfortable. Stainless steel case back. Now CA53W stainless steel back, water resistant. So that really does mean just doing the dishes and the occasional rain shower. I would not be taking this one in the shower, the bath or the pool with you. Screw on case back, one screw in each of the four corners. Battery in here should last about five years if you're just telling the time. Uh, less than that, it will diminish the more you press those buttons on the front. But they'll be picked up on eBay for a dollar. You'd be a mug taking this one into a watchmaker. Just screw that back off, pop in a new battery, seal it up, jobs are good and for a dollar. All right, on to this feature-packed module, the 3208. Considering it's 35 years old, it doesn't actually do too bad for itself. 
Couple of buttons here, a uh, little stainless buttons, one recessed, one not, one cycles through and one adjusts. So regular time with the day of the week indicated in the top right hand corner, one push and we're onto the calculator. Next push and we're onto the single alarm, one push after that and we've got a dual time function. Final push gets us into stopwatch mode and then back to the regular time. If you want to see the date and the year, you hold and press that top button there. So we are the 9th of the 6th and it is indeed 2019. Release to let it go. So if you want to adjust the time, you just hold in the bottom of the two buttons and it brings up that time adjust mode. One push of the top button cycles through the minute, the seconds and so on, the day, the date, etc, etc. And when you're done, you just press that bottom button again. On to the big feature then, calculator mode. Now, when I was at school, we used to do all kinds of naughty things with these. We used to get them to spell any word we could. I always remember my favorite one was if two men walked two miles to a five-star hotel, they ate an eight-course meal and drank 67 pints of beer each, so you multiply it by two. How did they feel after that? Well, they felt hellish. I won't do any of the other ones because they're a little bit rude for this family channel. Anyway, it kind of works. Buttons aren't all that easy to press, but let's be honest, you're not gonna be doing any serious calculations on this one. You're gonna be using your phone for that anyway. All right, next up, it's the alarm. So double push, if you wanna set the alarm, hold down the recess button there. Into that adjust mode, when you press it once again to set the alarm, the alarm indicator will go off. If you wanna unselect the alarm, you press that button over there. It's not all that obvious what these buttons mean, but a quick look at the markings on the keypad should help you out. After the alarm, we are into the dual time mode and similarly, you can set the second time zone by holding down the recess pusher. Uh, once again, you're, when you're done with that, back to the main time. And finally, it's a stopwatch. The one thing that you might actually use on this, start, stop, reset, pretty straightforward. It doesn't feature a light though, this one. No electroluminescent and not even an LED. So not all that waterproof and it doesn't have a light in it. But like I keep saying, it's not really about practicality this one, it's about having fun. And that fun really begins when you get it on wrist. I've got a seven inch wrist for reference. I don't think it looks too diminutive on me. Super, super light though. If you wear it slightly loose, I do genuinely almost forget that you've got a watch on 25 grams. It weighs virtually nothing. That's just under one ounce in weight. And there we are, that is it. A little higher for perspective. You can see what it looks like on a fully grown man's wrist. Arguably fully grown man's wrist. And there it is outside in some natural light. The little bit of plastic covering the, the button and the dials, it does scratch up if you treat this watch roughly. Polywatch, as always, is your friend. You can pick up a little tub of Polywatch for about $5 from a lot of different retailers. A gentle buff with some kitchen roll and Polywatch should see this one in good shape for a long, long time to come. 43 mil lug to lug, so it's not that small lug to lug. The resin band, as I said earlier on, very flexible, nice and comfy. So less than 20 US dollars for a watch that is featured in big screen and small screen adventures and has been in continuous production for close to 35 years. Do you think they'll still be making these Samsung smart watches and Apple watches in 35 years? I doubt it very much. Do you think they'll still be making these Casios? I wouldn't bet against it. So there you have it, the Casio calculator watch, the CA53W. Now you can wear your nerd loud and proud on your sleeve for less than 20 US dollars. And really, that's what this one is about. It's a fun piece, it's a bit of a statement, slightly tongue in cheek, retro nostalgic. The chances of you actually using any of those features with those tiny little fiddly buttons when you've got a mobile phone in your pocket are pretty limited but it's a super light, comfy watch that's bound to raise a few eyebrows. For 20 bucks, you can't ask for more than that, can you? Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.